Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today I have a couple more uh, makes to share with you using the Scrap Diva Designs October release dies. So today I'm gonna be doing two more. First up is this one, which is called Fall Jelly Tote. So you got your jelly tote and all of the um, layering pieces and stuff for it. Okay, it's got this cute little um, acorn um, pattern on it, so super cute. And then it also comes with these um, acorns that you can, you know, use to decorate your project with. Okay, so I use this die and I made this cute little acorn jelly toad. It turned out really cute. Um, on this project, I used the Simple Stories, um, I think it's called Acorn Lane. <clears throat> really cute little fall set, blues, and um, a little bit of uh, kind of a dusty pink, and um, you know, some you know, light orange and that kind of stuff. So, really cute. So, I just decorated it with some. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I just decorated it with some of the chipboard and stuff from the collection. Some of the, um, uh, you know, like uh, sentiments and that kind of stuff. Let's put some flower cluster over here. And then I have a bunch. I used a bunch of these leaves. And these leaves are part of the acorn mini album set so there's like two different styles of leaves um so there's like you can cut out like eight at a time because there's this there's two sets of four so you can run through all at once and they're like turned you know one's like angled one way and the other is like angled the other direction you know that kind of thing so i use those in here so there's a couple of the bigger ones this is the one of the little smaller ones and i kind of just folded them a little bit Added some um, blue twine that matched onto there. Just thought it turned out super cute. So it's real similar to the others. Uh, Jelly Toast that Scrap Diva has holds a lot of stuff. So anyway, I think it turned out super cute. Got some more of the leaves over here, <clears throat> which are super good for layering up. So love how that one turned out. Okay, and then next I used. I'd used this before on another project, but I decided to, um, you know, like feature it more. Um, these are the Victorian frames, which I love. They are so cute. So you have um, the. Oops, I just ripped the bag. Okay, so you have the base layer right here, and then this decorative layer, and go on top. And then with this one, it will. Um, Cut out the center because these are all solid a solid piece okay <clears throat> put this in and cut out the center or you can just cut it or you can cut out a piece from something else and layer on top like i did and this one here um makes this tiny little frame so it's a real thin little frame i'll show you for my projects so this is called victorian frame and this is what i made with this one <coughs> On this collection, I'm using some of the, it's an old Frank Garcia collection. Uh, I can't remember what the name of it is. Let me look. Uh, Autumn Sunset. It's like the first thing I ever bought from Frank Garcia. <laughs> so I don't know how many years ago it was, but I loved it because it had pink in it. And it's an autumn. So it's got foxes and butterflies and pumpkins and stuff. And really cute. So it's got, you know, a lot of the oranges and rust and that kind of stuff but yet it has pinks and stuff in it also so really cute so that's what I used on these projects right here so here is one of the frames now this one I attached a little just a little piece of ribbon up there um, stapled that on so here you can see um, in the background I have the peachy color layer and then this is the decorative decorative layer on top this right here this um, copper glitter that's what I was talking about, that little frame, this 
that little piece that makes the, the frame. So that's that. And then this square right here is what <clears throat> that other piece that I was showing you that I, I cut out the pattern paper and then I cut out foam and just popped it up. Okay, and then I used some more of the leaves for accents and some puppy stickers and a um, little gold star right there. Um, my sentiment is using the stamp set from Scrap Diva. Love this. It's called Fall Stamp Set. So you get all these different one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten different sentiments on this. Really super cute. Okay, so I use the ones that fit on this square. Um, so a couple of them, like this one was too long for the square, you know, so I didn't use it on this. If I hadn't, you know, mounted the square up, I could have used it, you know, like on the background. But So I did that one with the fall vibes. I um, heat embossed it with some gold um, embossing powder. Turned out pretty good, especially since I used... Um, textured cardstock on the back. If you use a smooth cardstock, it won't, it gives you a better look on your stamping and um, embossing. So, but it still turned out pretty. So I've used that one. And then I also made this one. So this is pretty much the same thing. Just decorated different a little flower that somebody gifted me. And then um, some leaves from that set again. And then a little puffy sticker. So there's those two. And then I made a couple in pink. So here's some of the same paper, but it's got a, a, a pink background instead of the peach. And then this one for the frame, I cut out it, it cut it, I cut it out in a white glitter paper. Made a little frame, and then here's my sentiment again popped up. You can see how much prettier the um, uh, stamping and embossing came out because I have a a flat, you know, slick, non-textured uh, paper that I use. So it'll give you a much cleaner look when you do that. So I just put a piece of this ribbon back behind there, and then I have some more of the flower, uh, the leaves. Put some little flowers I had in my stash. This cute little um, gold. Uh, I don't even know what, remember what it's called, but. I got it from, hauled it from Timu, it's this stuff. So I just cut a piece off and layered, layered it up there. I have some chipboard up on foam and I just think it turned out really pretty. So there's that one. And then the last one of these I made is just same basic thing, just different puffy sticker. And so they could be cute little, um, you know, embellishments to put on something. Um, they could be mounted on the front of a card. Um, you know, um, would make a really cute card front. So anyway, those are my things that I, I'm sharing today. I have some few more that I'm working on, but I'll do another video with those. So um, yeah, if you have any questions, just let me know. I will, um, of course, have all of Erica's stuff linked below. That's her website. And then here is her, all of her social media. So <clears throat> I'll have the link to the website. I'll have my um, discount code listed below in case you decide to pick anything up. Um, and then I'll link to the dies and the stamp that I use. Okay, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.